Today we're making a steak. Welcome to episode two of Baking with Jake, except sometimes I don't bake stuff. And Ed's gonna teach us how to make a steak because I have no idea how to do it. I'm sorry, I'm still trying to figure out how to put this on. He also doesn't know how to put an apron on. <laughs> Sponsor Toronto here. Today's sponsor of the video is Ensemble Stars. It is a music game, an all direction immersive mobile rhythm game to be very specific. And idols from Yumanosaki Academy are starting their brand new adventure there. The game allows you to basically watch a, a music video as you play and there's different difficulties, obviously easy all the way to expert. And uh, the live experience remains the same difficulty on all levels. So basically you get to enjoy all the pretty little light shows, all the beautiful boys get to put on no matter what difficulty you play on. The big news is it's finally on PC. So now you can play the game with enhanced gameplay on keyboard controls and mastering challenging all the songs with new precision like never before. There's also a cross progression feature. So meaning you can progress through the game, whether you're on PC or mobile just by linking your accounts. But there is also a special offer I want to mention. They're having a 5% discount for PC players when you top up in the game. So don't hesitate. Download the PC version of this game today and dive deeper into the world of Ensemble Stars music in the description. All right, onto the vid. So, chat, the general idea is I will be teaching Jake how to make a steak, okay? In this house, I make a ton of steaks for the roommates, for everyone, but Jake is a newbie here. So, we have some beautiful cuts of meat. The idea of the stream is that I won't be cooking this, Jake will, but I will be instructing him how to do it. So, I think it's going to be exciting because we get to see whether or not we're eating steak or charcoal. Yeah. Subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. What do I do, chef? Okay, so the method that we're going to be doing today is called a pan seared steak, okay? So that involves pan searing the steak, Okay. Right? We have our steaks here. We have three of them, meaning he has three tries to get it right. I'll do one. If you if you somehow nail on your first try, I'm, I'm uh, yes. To add flavor to it, we have thyme and rosemary. We have shallots, okay, for a pan sauce garlic and then in the fridge actually jake can you grab the butter from the fridge more butter more better yes sir <laughs> huh? it's right there oh is this butter bro i thought this was banana milk what <laughs> but that stuff's really important all right first thing is prep okay go ahead and measure out your thyme and rosemary uh, what does that even mean what am i what <laughs> take it out of the box <laughs> i can do that <laughs> yes that's rosemary. All right, that stuff probably needs to be washed. It smells good. Yes, and that flavor will be infused into the steak. Infused? Jake. Like when you infuse your sword with cryo and your, your weapon? Damn, I can smell the rosemary from here. That's good. You know what else I smell? What? I smell of food. Huh? We should show them our wonderful system we have going in our kitchen crisis that we yes. had earlier. Come this way. Let me show you our living room. Welcome to our living room. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it looks like a mess, but there's a reason. Lately, people have been leaving shit around the kitchen and it's pissing me off. Ed developed a system that he would find out the most commonly used appliances in the house. And by doing that, we'll be able to put the useful things where we want them and the least useful things that no one uses in storage. But the only way to do that is to find out what is actually used. So for the entire month, the entire month, our living room will look like this until someone picks it up and then uses it to cook. Anyways. Okay, so our current stage is the seasoning stage. So first step is to take all three steaks and place them on the cutting board. Yes, father. Yes, chef. Yes, chef! You, you will call me chef. Beautiful. Don't fuck. Sorry. Uh, sorry, yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. <laughs> so, we need salt, pepper, garlic powder. The trifecta. Beautiful. What, wait, what am I looking for? <laughs> You're looking for garlic powder. What here says garlic powder? Garlic, okay. What is bro doing? What about garlic granules? What the hell is that? Is what? 
delicious. Oh, oh sorry. It's with <laughs> parsley, and that's. Do we want parsley? Okay, parsley is fine. All right, all right. And you know what? Just grab that. It's fine. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm, I mean, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yes, yeah. Salt and. Oh. This is peppercorns. But it has a grinder. I don't want to grind it. Oh my god. Okay, I'll grind it. All right. Now, do you want this to taste amazing? Yeah. You're missing one ingredient. Mobota Mobeta. No. Oh. It has three letters. MSG, Jake. I'm not putting MSG on my steak. <laughs> yeah, okay. Context, so. this motherfucker puts MSG on all of his food like it's salt. Bro. Look at, look at this. Look. <laughs> he just, he takes us everywhere he goes. <laughs> okay, so dab a little bit of olive oil on every single one and spread it around using your other hand. Chef, I'm confused about the text. Oh, f I, I, I'm confused about the technique of how I should do that. Oh! <laughs> it splashed on me, man. Cooking's hard. Okay. All right, so if you'd like, I can show you. Okay, show me, show me. Ale. Oh, shit! All right, Jake, I will season one steak, and I'm, I will have you follow for the other two. Okay. Actually, we can do that for like the entire process. I'll show you how to sear steak and then you have to follow it. We'll add a little bit of olive oil using the other hand and spread it around. Want to make sure it's like an even coating. This is what's going to allow the seasoning to stick to the steak easier. Ah, I see. Salt, pepper. What the hand do? Right, oh. <laughs> Garlic powder. Flip it. Okay, so as you can see, there's salt, pepper, garlic powder, and it's stuck to the steak with olive oil. And now we will let the steak rest. It will allow the salt to penetrate the steak. Okay, we're going to be preparing a pan sauce, which is going to be shallots, a little bit of garlic, and wine. So I'll dice the shallots. Okay, and then the garlic. Wow, he's so good, chat. Let's get a round of applause for Eduardo. Wow. Now we are off to the next stage. Where is my cast iron? Chestnuts roasting, not an open fire. Why are you singing? The cast iron is gone, dude. Wait, hold on. This is actually bad. Oh, Christmas tree. Jake, what happened to the cast iron? No, I never use the cast iron. Wait, check in there. This was supposed to be for pots and pans. Why is it filled with all this shit? No, 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 no. The, the new system was we put them all in here. Why do we have potatoes that are literally growing? Sometimes it is good to look back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Guys. It's, it's, the, it's the pan. It's the PUBG thing. They, they made the PUBG thing a real thing in real life. Okay, chat. Edward is gonna show me how to cook steak, and then I'm gonna try to replicate. This time you might actually wanna pay attention. This is a meat thermometer. This will tell us what temperature is inside the steak. Medium rare is the goal, and medium rare is at a temperature of 135 degrees Fahrenheit, but the steak will naturally rise in temperature after you take it out by usually 10 degrees. So we're gonna take it out at 125 degrees Fahrenheit. This is fascinating. All right, Jake, so I'm gonna set it to high. All right, you see this? After I put the oil in, we're gonna put the garlic in first. The garlic will seep into the oil, and once I start to smell that, I'm gonna take it out before it burns. Now, very important, pay attention to this. When placing the steak, place it away from you, not towards you, like this. Ow, my hand. <laughs> We've hit the two minute mark, all right? So now it's time to flip. Not too bad. Right now there's a lot of heat going into the steak. We want to make sure that we don't jeopardize its doneness. It's currently 87 degrees inside the steak. So that means we still have a little bit of time. We're going to use that time to try to get a better sear or finish off a sear in the middle. That looks good. And now we enter stage two, which is thyme, rosemary, and butter. Mo butter, mo butter. Our goal here is to bring the steak up to temperature. By pouring the oils on top of the thyme and rosemary, it's gonna activate its aromatics. It's gonna infuse it into the steak. 
Notice how I put the butter on top, so that way when I bend down the pan, the butter goes around the edges of the steak. This looks so nice. See this? What? That's already 125. Oh shit, okay. We need to take it off of the pan and let it rest. Now something I personally like to do is to pour a little bit of the juice on top of the steak. Ooh. Fucking delicious. So next step is the pan sauce. Using this extra butter, we're going to combine it with wine and evaporate it down. I've never made a successful pan sauce, actually. Oh. Hopefully today's different. So I'm gonna add the garlic and the shallots. What we're trying to do here is called emulsification. So the butter, the oils, and the extra bits of steak have fat on it. What we're aiming to do here is boil them together for so long that they eventually combine. What does the wine do? It's a source of flavor and it's also a deglazer. It's going to help lift all the extra bits of meat that's stuck to the pan. And we're going to have this simmer until what's hopefully going to be a sauce. Yummy. Do you want to taste it? Isn't it hot? Good point. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see how I did. I think it overcooked. But we're going to check that out now. Oh. Oh, sh**. Wait, that looks perfect. Damn. Look at that. Medium rare has this like pinkish look to it. Okay, Jake, that's going to be tough to beat. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Fuck. Do you want to taste it? Taste it with the sauce and without the sauce. So this is my steak chat. Describe taste. It's pretty fucking good. Try it with the sauce now. Oh my god. Oh my god. He just came. Drake, that is crazy. That is so fing crazy, dude. I'm so fing, guys. Jake, it's your turn. You got this, man. You got two shots. What if I just spent the rest of the stream just eating this? <laughs> Chat, don't you want to see him cook a steak? You guys came here for Jake to make a steak. Don't let this man escape. Mmm, fuck. That's nice. Okay, I'll cook now. Okay, so first, what I will do is I will now put olive oil on my beef. Yes. Was that too much? It'll work. What if I just like... <laughs> I mean, that, 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 that does work. That is a beautiful cut of steak. Oh my ah. god, guys. It's so hard. Next is the seasoning. Nice even coating. Now, peppercorns. And then garlic powder. I'll do this one looking. <laughs> no. <laughs> Brother, your eyes are open and you're still fucking it up. Okay. Okay, now this time I'll do it without looking. This is better than what I had by eyes open. It's beautiful. Jake has finished the seasoning process of the steak. How would you rate his seasoning skills? One out of ten. Jake, how, how difficult would you say that this process has been so far? Easy. Easy. Okay, good. Because this is the easiest step. Once we start searing things, it's going to be very temperature and time dependent. I'm good at timing. I speed run the spire in the face. So go ahead and prepare your shallots and your garlic. Are you okay? Okay, you have your shallots, you have your garlic. Yes, chef! And now everything is prepared. It's time for the action! This is the part that I'm gonna be the most stressed about. <laughs> Set the temperature to the correct temperature. I'm gonna have to look. Okay, now go ahead and add in the oil. Now add in your first ingredient. It's starting to do funny things. I don't like it. It actually smells really good. What's next? What do you put in the pot? The, the steak. It's steak time. Good. So why are you all the way over there? I'm scared. <laughs> now what is the goal here? What are you looking for? Ooh, 
That's a great question, and I feel like you should answer it because you're the professional. And Brother, that, you're. I think I should move it. Oh, 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 oh. Woo! Oh, that oh. looks good. Oh, that, that looks good. I don't know. I don't know about. Ow! Oh, I think that looks good. Oh shit! Ow! Fuck. <laughs> Let him cook. I have an idea. Grab a shield from the the second drawer, from the middle. No, not that. Oh, what? The lid. Oh, oh yes. Yeah, there you go. Don't care. What the? F These can block bullets. Uh, I don't think so. I saw it in a game. <laughs> okay, go ahead and flip it again. Oh, that is a perfect crust. Oh my god, he said it's perfect. I win. Guys, I'm. I want to scream so loud. Okay, it's been 30 seconds. Go ahead and lower the temperature. Medium, low. All right, now, quickly, butter. More butter, more better. Add the thyme and rosemary on top of the steak. Using one hand, tilt the pan towards you. The other hand, use the spoon to baste it. Ow, it's burning me, chef. What do I do? Endure it. What Pain the is only in your mind. It, <laughs> it's actually unbearable. What the fuck? Give it to me, give it How to me. How do you do that? Give it to me, give it You're to me. You're fucking a mad, you're a fucking masochist. <laughs> give it to me. What the fuck? How do you do that? Put the camera down, bro. Put that shit down. <laughs> oh my god. Actually, no. Fuck you. No, no I'm gonna do it. Fuck you. you. I can't do this. I can't do this. You still need to check the temperature as well. Kamiwa. Going at an angle. Center of the steak. 125. You have to lift off. Oh. Uh, what do I do? Uh, first take the thing off of the heat. <laughs> Oh, this bitch at me! Nice. Now use the tongs and put it on the plate. Holy Jake! Yes! Complete. Why are you in the free? It's so hot, bro. I'm sweating. Jake, you're not done yet. Pan sauce. Go ahead and put the ingredients for the pan sauce. Garlic. And then... God, he's doing it. Turn up the heat to medium and saute until it's fragrant and then deglaze with red wine. Beautiful. I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. Can you see it, chat? This is so exciting. All right, guys. We're gonna test if I made a medium rare steak with Ed's instructions. Thank you, Ed, for instructing me. Damn it, now I'm gonna be blamed if you messed up. That's right, bitch. <laughs> Here we go. Oh! 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 No! Oh! Jake! You popped off, man. I'd like to thank my believers. I'd like to thank Ed. I'd like to thank Costco. Yeah. I'm gonna try it now. It looks so beautiful. You did that, man. We did this. This is without the sauce. Where is bro going? Jake? Have you ever played Five Nights at Freddy's? All right, with the sauce. I'm a car, bro. <laughs> you did this, man. You did it. Thanks for hanging out today and watching me cook a steak for the first time. And shout out to Ed. Thank you. And if you're watching on YouTube, subscribe for the third episode where we learn how to make coffee, professional coffee. Goodbye forever. All right, quick, quick, end it. Quick. What the you gotta end it quick. What